<laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, kiwis and newbies. I am Sunshine, and this is Kitty Cat is playing with my window closers, window blind cords. What are you doing, baby? You're stuck. There you, there you go. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Sunshine. We had a rude departure yesterday when my computer said nope and blue screen to death on me. It said, do we, you need to restart and we're just collecting some data first and then we'll restart it for you. I'm like, okay, and have we walked away and half an hour later it did not restart so I had to push the button. Um, so good morning. <laughs> uh, all right, um, it's Friday and I, on court Monday, I, the corners is the first step, that gives you this one done. Um, the edges and centers are the second step, that gives you this one done. Which I haven't done, so I, I'm doing edgings and corners evidently because today my corners, nope, this corners are done on this one, but not on this one because I scrambled it. Alright, so, bring yellow to the top. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, want to ask me questions, uh, how long have I been cubing, what's my time, uh, how did I come up with the AB cube method, uh, why doesn't your AB cube method have to handle parodies, uh, you don't need to handle parodies, <laughs> parodies are lies. Okay, so, uh, first, first step is corners, I start with yellow. You can do color neutral if you want. In fact, I used to be, but, uh, I had several friends when I was creating this manuscript say, you can't just tell them to pick a color. <laughs> you have to pick a color for them. So I'm like, okay, fine, start with yellow. Okay, so this one's yellow, this one's yellow. It's a good place to start. So I'm, we're starting on this cube, this corner, QB. And it, if it has a yellow on here or on the yellow on the corner below it, formula A will bring it to the top. If there doesn't, you rotate the bottom by quarter turns until the answer is yes to is there a yellow here or here. Okay, so. Uh, there's a yellow here or here. Formula A, one row, one column. You look at your corner, your cube, as if it were a spreadsheet with rows and columns. We're dealing with one row and one column for formula A. And for the corners, it's the bottom row and the right-hand column. Because I'm right-handed, I could have done it the other way around, and I didn't. All right, so um, this corner moves away, out. This corner, this, this space moves down the space moves in and the cube of the space move up. Okay, out, down, in, up. Okay, out, down, in, up. Over and over and over again until your yellow lands on top. Not just the top row, the top face, okay? When the yellow is on top, you slide it, the top row, out of the way and continue affecting this corner, okay? And we're going to keep doing so until the yellow is on top on all four corners. There is a yellow here or here. So out, down, in, up, out, down, in, up, out, down, in, up, out, down, in, up. The entire cube can be solved with just A and B. Um, yes, you can do you can do the inverse of, of A, you can do the mirror of A, you can do the you can do inver uh, inverses and mirrors and parallels. Uh, as well, but it would <laughs> if you get brave. But uh, every cube can be solved with just A and just B. Um, so my yellows are on top. The next step is do the color do this do they match on the sides? Because each corner has three colors. We've only looked at one so far. So now we're going to look at the the other color. Uh, blue does not equal green. Orange does not equal blue. Red equals red, and green does not equal orange. Now at this point, one of three things are always going to happen. Either all of them will match, like so, like so, or none of them will match, or one of them will match. If one, if none of them match, if, if all of them match, you said this, you, you go on to the next step. If none of them, if one of them matches, you face the matching side, matching corners away from you. If none of the matches, it doesn't matter how you hold the cube to, 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 to begin with because you're going to move, do, do B. And so we're doing formula B. And if, if, it, if, you, if none of them match, you do this next step and then you will have one side that matches. And so then you put that matching away from you and do it again. So, um, so 
formula B is top row, two columns, and for the corners, it's the outside columns. So um, I move, slide the top up, slide the top up, slide the top down, slide the top down. And then formula A, go right into formula A to bring your yellows back to the top. Don't, ro don't rotate the cube, just the slide the top and the top. Up, down, and up, out, down, and up. Slide out, down, and up. Out, down, and up. And the yellow's on top on all four corners. The corners match to each other. So we're happy. Um, then turn the yellows upside down and we abandon them and we work on the whites. So we turn the yellows upside down, abandon them, and work on the whites. The reason why we're abandoning them is we trust them. They're going to be okay. They're going to they're going to, to they're gonna stay the way they are. They're not gonna stay the way they are, but they're going to return to the way they are. So the, we look we check to see what corner what color all four corners have in common now. Uh, which is white. Okay. Uh, none of them need to be none of them are already conveniently in place, so we just go on. So we don't have to. We 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 work on the. We pick a, pick the corner to work on, which is the one under your right thumb. And we is the white on. If the white is not on top, then we do formula A until the white comes to the top. Okay. Now, mind you, I said we we're ignoring the yellows because if we look, if we wait until the yellow is on top on all four corners, the yellows will be fine. But if we look at it before then, we see, oh no, I messed up my yellows. No, you didn't. You didn't. Um, so we'll just we'll just we won't look at the yellows again until the white is on top on all four corners using formula A. Okay, when the white white's on top, slide the top to protect it and continue on this one. Continue with this corner, affect this corner until the white's on top. That's so what formula A does is it switches these two and twists them as it goes along. Which is why if there's a white if there's your active color in one of these two cubes, it will end up on top. Okay, it ended up on top, slide it out of the way. I don't rotate the cube because that will mess up my yellows. So um formula A do 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 Okay. White's on top on all four corners, check on your yellows. Yep, they're still happy. Okay. So, um, again, at this point, stage of the game, it, either all of the corners will match, none of them will match, or one, or one of them will match. All, nothing, or one, okay? This one is a nothing. None of them match, okay? So, as I said, excuse me, I gotta dry it up. It's itchy. Okay, so as I said, I'm looking for my water and it's not here. Which one of you guys forgot to give me water? <laughs> Good morning. If you've just joined me, I am Sunshine. I hope you have a hope you're having a wonderful day. My hair is my hair is unique today. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we've got our your, our yellows are happy to each other. Yellow corners are happy to each other. Um, the whites are all on top, and we have none of the sides that match. So we're going to do Formula B. Slide up. Slide up. Slide down, slide down. Uh, so, in my head for formula A, I say out, down, and up. And for formula B, I say up, up, down, down. Um, because I adore the slide, because the, the brain likes to remember four things. Okay, here we go. So, out, down, in, up. Out, down, in, up. Slide. Out, down, and up. Slide. Out, down, and up. Out, down, and up. Okay. Whites on top. Check the yellows. Yep, they're still happy. We, that means I didn't rotate the cube in midway. Okay. Um, there's only there's there's only four ways to mess up in this with this method. Um, you can drop the cube halfway through this through a step and go. Whoops. Well, that didn't work. Or you can get your arrows confused, and you can like you know your brain will look at a left at a left right arrow, 
and it will do a left, it will, then it looks at the left arrow and does the right again. You know, your arrow, you get your arrows confused. Or you got confused between, you, you're, you're supposed to only be looking at the corners. And if you look at the edges and start working with them, you get the corners confused. So, um, so drop, drop the cube, uh, you get confused about which direction, misdirect, misread the arrows, uh, you get the, the other things confused, or uh, twist the cube halfway through in the middle of the step instead of holding it stable. Other than that, this I teach <laughs> I teach little old grandmas. I teach pe I teach people who, oh yeah, my brother can do it, but I never figured that he never he tried to teach me, but I just couldn't learn. Yeah. Yeah. This is the method for everyone <clears throat> everyone else. The non-cubers that say, yeah, I don't want to spend months memorizing things. Just tell me the secret so I can do the cube and look smart. This is that. This is tell me the secret so that I can do the cube and look smart. Because with A and B, you can solve every size Rubik's cube. Okay, so so we did the yellows. We put them face down. We abandoned them. We do, we're doing the whites now. And now we're like checking the sides again. Uh, blue is blue. Orange does not equal green. So on this one... We did, we see, not, none of the cute colors match, so we did formula B and A, and then now one side matches. We hold it away, and we do B again. Slide up, slide up, slide down, slide down. Okay, and then A brings our color back to the top. And when it does, not only will our yellows be happy again, they're happy. They're partying without without us. We won't look again until the whites are on top. And now whites are on top, and yellows are still happy. Uh, if you turn the cube instead of the, if you turn the whole cube instead of rotating the top, the yellows are going to get lost, and they're going to have that. Well, that will be an opportunity to begin again, which is always a wonderful thing. This hair right here making me look like I have a scowl in my face. It's looking like scowl lines. <laughs> I, I look in the mirror and I look in the camera and it doesn't behave the same way the mirror does. So my, <laughs> I'm old, I get confused. Okay, so uh, for yellows are, for, are happy, for, blah, 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 blah. easy for me to say, yellows are still correct to each other and happy. Whites are now correct to each other and happy. All you have to do is rotate the top row by quarter turns if needed until the top and the bottom are correct to each other. And then boom, your colors are all, your corners are all done. Your corners are all done. And if it was this, it'd be happy dance. Yay, the corners are done. Um, so the doing the corners first, number one, I, I treat every cube the same way. So I don't abandon the poor little two by two while I'm working on the three by three. So we get, we, we, we solve, the, the smaller ones first and because they have an effect each each smaller cube has corresponding pieces on the larger cubes so we do the corners on all of them yellow corners are happy here's the yellow on top okay corners are happy and then when the corners are done uh, they can only be correct in one position uh, to each other so uh, the corners then dictate what color the centers the color that whole side is going to be as opposed to back in the 80s when we let this the center cube dictate what the colors were going to be because it never changed to itself it was one solid piece in the inner workings like a jack <laughs> jack from jackson balls the little the little six-sided metal pieces that your parents would step on in the middle of the <laughs> middle of the i didn't put it away <laughs> And that's how you learn cuss words. Um, okay, so, <laughs> all right, so corners are done. The next step that I do, and you can, you can do your cube in whatever order you want. There's no order of operations. You can go layer by layer. You can do the, the, the corners last. I don't care. But when you're working them, you, you can solve them this way. So, so after you've learned this method, you can pick up, any one of my students can pick up any cube of any complex, any order of operations. Uh, I kept saying bigger than any size, but it's not size. It's order of op it's no order of complexity. That's right. A five by five versus a four by four. And they can pick up anybody's cu anybody cube and solve and put it down solved because because <laughs> they 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 memorized A and B and A and B is all there is. Ah, oh, my I'm cold here in the basement, but I want my hands free so they don't bump. All right. So once you've done the corners. How's everybody 
everybody doing? Everybody having a happy day? Weekend's almost here. It's Friday, Friday. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Do not get that song in your head. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't get far enough along. It's not in my head yet. Okay. Um, all right. We're having fun today. Um, okay, so the corners are done. And um, when I'm, you know, I'm, when I'm teaching, when I'm teaching brand new non-cubers, <laughs> uh, once the corners are done, I'll say, oh, you did so well. Now the scramble it and try it again. <laughs> you did so well. Now do it on this cube. Now do it on this cube. Now do it on this cube. So that they get really, really comfortable with the, with doing the corners because, you know, before they move on. So they don't get, they don't like, wait a minute, what was I, I've lost, I have too much you know, information overload. So um, they get really comfortable doing the corners and then I send them home with a cube and they come back in a week and I, and, um, I say, as I send them away, I say, oh, by the way, A and B is all you, ever, all you need to know for all the rest of them. If you, you, you did formula B using top row and outside columns. If you do top row and inside columns, then it moves the edges around if you do top row and two inner columns, it moves the centers around. So play with that. And so I send them off to the cube. And a week later, they come back and they say, I just have a question, you know? <laughs> and depending on what size they went, whether they went away with the standard cube or a larger cube, invariably, well, with very few exceptions, their question is either uh, two pieces, if it's a cube, it's two pieces on the cube that both need to switch. That, that that need to that, that they both need to flip. They're in the right place, but they need to flip. And so I'll say, oh, no problem. We remember we just take a garbage piece from the middle and throw it to the side. So these are the two pieces that need to flip. So put this piece down in here so that you can work on it, and then bring it to the front and place it correctly, and it's done. They're like, oh, okay. So it's so it's B top two B top two and we're done. Um, but if it's, if it's one of the large of these, it's a parody because I didn't tell them about parodies. And they're going, what do I do here? I only have two pieces. And it's like, it's like yes, Formula B always moves three pieces around. Um, so your, your parody is a lie. This is called parody, but it's a lie because whenever there's, there's two pieces and only two pieces that need to be switched, there's always three pieces. But the piece you can't see is the piece you can't see. So the layer that that the, the slice of the cube that is touching that parity is a quarter turn off. So remove that slice a quarter turn and solve it from that position and your parity has disappeared. Uh, so that's fun. Um, that's why that's one of the reasons it's not a motivating factor but it's an insulary uh, is is when you when you do that quarter turn slide that that one quarter slide one quarter turn speak sunshine um if your centers are solved first it, it, you're, it looks you're going to have to reposition your centers redo your centers after you get rid of that parity uh so i do the centers last and that means that when i do that quarter turn i don't i'm not undoing i don't have to redo any of my work any of my play this is a toy this is play okay and the reason why um yeah the reason why is be, you, that's also the reason why when you take a large cube apart and put it back together again after you to solve it, clean it, lube it, whatever, and put it back together again, um, we were taught <laughs> it was a, it was a law, cube law, that when you took the cube apart, you had to put it back together again, solved, or else you might put it back together again in an unsolvable position. So, and which is true on a three by three because um, the corners are correct only in one, only to each other in one way. You know, you could you have a one in three chance of the last corner being flipped, uh, and then the edges are have to, have to be correct placed correctly. You've got the one in three chance that uh, the the one in two chance that this ed the last edge will be flipped when did you put it back together again, um, and one in one in six chance no one in two chance that the centers are going to be off. The centerpieces they're gonna the cubes getting off to the centerpieces anyway you put it had to put it back together again solved when you went but then we evolved into larger cubes so from the four but from the from every time there is anytime you have a centerpiece that is not the absolute center this one's the absolute center uh, if I were if I were taking this cube apart and putting it back together again I would have to do the corners would have to be correct as I place it I'd have to place it with the edge 
excuse me, burp, edges correct and the absolute center correct, but the, these these other corners, the diagonal cor the diagonal centers and the oblique centers, um, they don't have to be placed correctly when you're assembling them uh, because while uh, this corner piece can only be placed one it went in one position to, to the rest of the cube, the, the all of the flo all of the floating centers, this white cube could be correctly placed next to the white, green, or orange cube, or it could be correctly placed next to the white, orange, or blue cube, or it could be correctly placed, or visually correctly placed, in either one of these two areas. Okay, so, all right. So Doug is correcting me again because I don't know my, my I don't know my definitions. Okay, so on the, for looking at the centers for a large cube, we've got the diagonal centers, and we've got the something edge centers. And then on the larger cubes, where's my seven? I uh, my seven. I'm still <laughs> packing. Corner twist, then corner flip. Okay, right, cause yeah, twist. <laughs> Just read <break> my mind. <laughs> I had, um, for a time in my life, I had the the this you know the where words didn't work, and I you know it's like first in last out. So it's like um, the the basic nouns I couldn't remember the basic nouns, and so I'd be like, "Someone please go get me the um, over by the 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 in the." Uh, so I'd say, "Just read my mind." So um, yes, I sometimes say things incorrectly. But that's okay, because I'm having fun. <laughs> uh, okay, so so diagonal centers, uh, edge centers, and then the other ones. The other ones would be the obliques, um, which I was calling floating centers. So anyway, any time if a, if a centerpiece can be correct in more than one position, then when you reassemble the cube, <laughs> um, it there's no way to assemble it. In, it's unsolvable for the centers. So, so go ahead. You can save a lot of time by not sorting the little pieces by color. So just the corners, the edges, the absolute center, and everything else, just however it fits, and you can solve it. So that's a fun thing. What am I doing? Okay, so the corners are done. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay. Doug, are you feeling better? How's your fever broke? Has your pneumonia gotten better? Are the drugs working, dude? <laughs> but only the middle edges and only on an odd sized cube. Almost completely recovered. That better is so much, <laughs> so much better. <laughs> it feels so good. My dad used to say, it's like hitting your head against a wall. It feels so good when you stop. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I get to go to the eye doctor today. Isn't that fun, everybody? Anyone want to go for me instead? Um, okay, so the corners are done. Then I hold the cube. So that I, I've been working with yellow and white, so my eyes are trained to, to look for the yellow and white, so I'm going to keep doing that. So I hold the cube. So the the, corn, the sides, as dictated by the corners, are yellow and white. Either this way or this way, it doesn't matter which one's, which one's left and which one's right, as long as yellow and white are left and right. And then I look for pieces in the middle area, anywhere between the, the corners, for a yellow or white piece. And when I find one, you can follow, you can follow it with your eyes, the way I'm following it with my eyes, okay? Um, do, 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 do. Okay, I, I bring the corners to the corners are friendly now. So I bring the corners together as a group to match the front color, and my yellow or white is on top. So I determine because yellow and white can be white or yellow, right and left can be left, right or yellow. Words! Okay, so it's going in the white direction, so that's this way, as opposed to the yellow direction, which is this way. Let me also find so this one's going the left direction. Let me find one that's going in the right direction. Uh, da, 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 da. OK, 
Okay, this one. is going in the right in the right direction so I'll do them side by side so bring the corners to match the front da da okay so this one is going in this direction so at B as it is written uh, uh, for the, the two columns are uh, the top row and the two columns are where you want the cube to land which is this one and where the cube begins, which is this one. So you don't have to remember, if I do these two rows, this happens. These two columns, this happens. You just have to have to let the cube that you want to move uh, will dictate which cubes they are, which rows they are. So first column, second column. Start by going away from where it wants to be. So we go up, in, up, out, down, in, down, and there it is, correctly placed. I don't spend time, when I find a piece. Oh, and then, sorry, that was went to the left. Um, to go to the right, it's actually the mirror of B. So, two, top row, two columns. First column is where it wants to land, so this one. Second column is where it begins, so this one. So this one and this one. Start by moving away. First up, back. Second up, away. Down, back, second down. And it is correctly placed. I don't spend time on the cube, I've got a hair stuck in my cube. I don't spend time on the cube looking to pair up my edges and then place them, which is be, which was done because we went from a three by three to a four by four, and so we tried to we tried to make sense of that by making the four by four look like a three by three, and then you know how to solve it from there. But that seems to me to be two solves, and so why not just pick a cube that isn't that that is not correct and just throw it in the direction it wants to be. Here's the orange and white. Bring the corners to match the front. Okay, it wants to go in this direction. Okay, um, both of these cubes can conveniently just be displaced, so I'm going to pretend that this is one piece here. So I can displace both of them, make them more convenient to work with. So this piece is going here. So away, up, in, up, away down after I just said don't treat it like a three by three I'm so inconsistent and that's okay uh, all right so that cube is placed and we keep going um, doo -doo 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 and we're gonna keep doing that for as long as there is a white or yellow anywhere in the the middle area and either we're between the outside columns we just find a piece find a piece stick Bring the corners to match the front, determine its direction, and move it away first up, back, second up, away, down, back, second down. All right, so there we go. Um, and that is where <laughs> I would leave my student. I'd say, okay, you got the corner, you're, you're comfortable with the corners. Now start playing with the other edges, other two different columns and see what it, what it gets you and we'll come back. So that feels like a good pausing place. Uh, Doug, continue getting better. Better is always, <laughs> better is always good. All right, you guys, um, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day and I'll be back here this evening uh, do, 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 to play some more. Um, so go be nice to yourself. Bye.